Over 3 million people with a disability requested extra help when passing through UK airports in 2016, a record number. Edinburgh Airport is Scotland's busiest and it has made significant progress in improving access for disabled passengers according to the latest CAA report. Karen Sim reports on how the team is helping their passengers with reduced mobility. Navigating his way through Scotland's busiest airport was too much of a barrier for Tom Speakman, but he finally decided to fly again after Edinburgh transformed its special assistance service. By investing in staff, resources and equipment, the airport has improved its rating from poor to good in the space of one year. We've seen plenty of people doing this, but uh, we decided to give it a try ourselves. But there are far too many people who can't travel because of uh, the facilities. You know, they, they, get, they give up. And uh, really, we've got to try and attract more people to get on the aircraft. And... We used to do a lot of flying, but um, as Tom became more sort of unable to get around as much, yes, the, j just the thought of it was not great at all. But so far, it's been a really good experience. It's really good. Edinburgh Airport has listened. By gathering information from community groups, it's gained a real insight into what people with disabilities need to make their experience as safe and comfortable as possible. It's a very people-centric service. It, it takes a lot of time to do it right and it takes staff that are dedicated and trained and, it, and it's in a very difficult environment. Um, so really for me, I think that the biggest change in the, the, between where we were and where we are now is about the management team that, that, that we've put in place with OmniServe and the quality of the staff, the recruitment processes and the training. Uh, I think that comes through in the, in the passenger feedback and that is one of the key drivers of the, of the performance standard change uh, as rated by the CAA. Last year, more than three million people with disabilities asked for assistance at the UK's airports. That's a rise of more than 66% since 2010. In Edinburgh alone, 10,300 special assistance passengers passed through the airport last month. That's 343 passengers every day. That's why an efficient PRM service is vital to ensure operations run smoothly for everyone's benefit. Airlines work together with airport staff and OmniServe to ensure passengers arrive for boarding in good time. Now let's just show it to the aircraft. Okay with that? When we, when we go to the aircraft, are we outside? Yes, you're outside, yeah, but only for a short time. Making sure that air travel is available for everybody isn't just in the interests of the passengers, it makes commercial sense too. But there is more work to be done to achieve an even higher rating. Edinburgh now aims to consistently meet its targets for waiting times, to engage further with community groups, collaborating with them on future developments, and to enhance the service for passengers with all kinds of special needs. And that's a, one of the most recent initiatives, is trying to look at that hidden disabilities and finding ways that people can communicate with us so that we know in advance that they're going to have some specialist requirements and try and tailor the service to what they want so that it's not an imposition that they feel everyone's been treated the same. Quite the opposite, we're trying to really respond to the unique requirements of every individual passenger and make it, as I say, not just an enabling service but something that they can enjoy and hopefully feel uh, respected and welcomed wherever they come. Those initiatives will contribute towards a service that's quicker, more pleasant and has been informed by the service users themselves. Giving people like Tom the confidence to try it out, to lead an independent life, to travel wherever he wants to go.